Hey all, this is Urs, and welcome back to XCOM. We are in the month of September. Uh, you know, things are going well. August was a really brilliant month for us. Um, we have a couple things coming up. I'm... Uh, I really want that breaching ammo, but I gotta say, I'm hesitant to start spending alloys. We need to start to make a bank of those when we're looking at maybe going into Gauss, maybe going into Mechs, and all that sort of stuff. It's gonna be important, and most of all, we also need credits. We need credits really badly because we need to get um, our power facilities up, the, the thermo generator here. We want to get our other two labs up, the gene lab and the psionics lab respectively because those are, you know, we have the techs, we just don't have the power and the money for it. So at this point, I'm going to spin the wheel. I may regret, honestly, not building. We're okay on laser cannons. I just, I had this thought, by the way. Uh, I want to share it with all y'all. So, right, laser cannons. One goes here, more or less. One goes here, more or less. We have a spare Phoenix cannon around if we need another interceptor somewhere. But beyond that, we should be doing okay. I don't think I need to build any more urgently unless we can see really that um, we need full laser cannons on all five interceptors on both continents. But hopefully we'll be able to shuffle them around enough that that won't become a necessity. But uh, I ain't holding my breath. Things could still go really sideways on us. So we're going to be really careful with that. So I think actually, you know, despite this, I almost talked myself into it. I think I am going to actually buy one set of breaching ammunition uh, just because this is going to help out the effectiveness of our assaults. It's 35 credits, that's okay. Six alloys, it's only four days. Let's just get the damn thing built and I'll just be happier with my assaults performance against any mech type units in the future. So anyway, let's roll. And we got the chameleon suit up. So that means Intel reports heavy UFO activity over China. Dude, we have saddies there. We should know this. Uh, anyway, where are we? Yeah, so we have this done. We can get our scouts up and running. Do we not have our satellites up? Hold on. We should be active already, should we not? Oh, no, they're not operational yet. I see. Okay. Well, that's interesting. That's why we didn't see what that... Uh, engineers for 10 Seeker Rex? Huh. <sighs> Oh, it is used for some aircraft. Oh, I should really do research aircraft boosters some way too, huh? Yeah, but um, yeah, why not? Sounds pretty good. Always could use some more engineers. Laser cannon, nice. All right, let's get this onto one of our aircraft. Uh, specifically, get on Bluto or should get on Pops? Well, this way Pops is still armed. And we'll just get this onto one of our interceptors, probably over North America for now, just because if we lose our air bonus, we're pretty much screwed. So let's wait for those new interceptors. It'll be very quick. Okay, there's the interceptors. Uh, hangar, view aircraft list. We're going to load you out, sir. we got to name you, first of all. Uh, rename Buster. We got Buster, and who do we have here? We have Panzer. Yeah. All right. So it was going to be laser, laser, I think, in that order. Edit loadout. Uh, let's yeah, let's start with the, this is the North American one. Hold on. Uh, yep. North American one indeed. No, not that one. Gosh darn it. Edit loadout laser cannon. And we'll get that up. I could start putting the Phoenix on here, but like I said, the other laser cannon is going to be here in just under four days, so let's get rolling with that. Contact detected. We got a large abductor flying nap of the Earth. My guess is this is going to be an abduction, or it'll be what I've always been asking for, and a large landing. We'll see. Well, we're going to scramble something on defensive just to take a peek, namely take uh, Bluto there on defensive and uh, see what's what's what there. Got that big old UFO coming in. He's going to be a mean guy. We're going to see what he's doing. We're in pursuit. Hey, buddy. Is that... Yes, yeah, an abductor, all right. Get the hell out of there. Goodbye! Alright, so let's just see what he does. Should be an abduction, honestly. It's a landing! <laughs> yeah, baby! Alright, so big, big old mission incoming. It's time. Oh, it's time for some good stuff. We have pretty much our entire roster active, except for Krungle, who took it really hard on the chin. But this is brilliant. This means we can pretty much take whoever we need and we need a pretty much an a-team on this it's gonna be pretty rough of a fight and we got to make sure we're good I'm thinking uh, again just because he's really suited for the fast and hard missions I'm gonna leave Saint at home on this one uh, I'm gonna definitely take Archangel as the commanding so we need pretty much as good a sniper as we've got I mean 
Shadow and uh, Archangel are pretty much the same, more or less. Uh, Shadow could use a promotion, though. Ah, uh, that's a good question. But let's just, uh, let's take, let's leave Badugan in case he needs to really lock down another squad as command. Um, again, I, I'm thinking, like, should I be greedy here and take an arc thrower? Should I? And on a big mission like this, honestly, I don't think I can afford it. I think the most important thing is going to be to bring a lot of guns and explosives and kill everything. So Dark Initiative, I think, is getting the nod uh, over any kind of arc throwing type engineer. Uh, so we need what seems like a support medic of some sort. Or should I take a support engineer and then get an arc thrower just in case? Could be the chance to get a Muton captive. This could be what we need, and that'll help us research Gauss, and that'd be huge. Oh, God. Um, I have to think about this. Maybe not Dark Initiative, actually. All right, we're taking Nova for sure, because we're going to need a scout that is about as tough as we can get. In that case, Vandal, I think, is going to get the nod here. Uh, Zergen would be really good, too. How is Vandal spec? I keep forgetting how I spec all these guys. This is hit and run. With resilience, does Zergen have resilience? That's gonna be, I think, we're gonna be the determining factor. I don't think Zergen has resilience yet. Let's see, do you have resilience? You do. Okay, never mind. He does. So in the UFO, close encounters might be useful, but we get a lot of flanks anyway. This will be better against floaters if we have stuff in the sky with close encounters, which we tend to on UFOs. I don't know. This is a tough choice between Zergen and Vandal. I'm not even certain which one I want to take. What will be better for this situation? Vandal has a little bit more movement to potentially get those flanks, obviously, from running, uh, from hit and run. Zergen is just all in all a bit tankier and uh, a bit more will for sure. If we had Psychic Troopers, I'd probably take Zergen, but we do not yet. Wow, decisions, decisions on this mission. I thought it would be an easy kind of thing. I think I'm going to take Zergen just... For the flexibility of being able to deal with flying units, and we tend to get floater packs here, and it'll be quite useful to get um, some good shots in early on. So I think Zergen is going to get the nod here. Though getting that flank inside the UFO was so critical last time. I'm going to go for the movement, actually, never mind. Uh, that's going to be more important, I think, honestly. Uh, Alright, good enough. Uh, Van Dorn, the general, is definitely coming along because it's Van Dorn and he's got to come along on these missions. He's our best gunner and uh, Double Tap is going to do work, if nothing else, than for uh, hollow on both targets, but hopefully a lot of death on both targets. Which means Macon Le Bacon is coming for our infantry. We could also take Zhang. Zhang's movement's a little crappier, but his aim is better and he's got more hit points. I think I'm actually going to take Zhang on this mission. Um, we're neither are pretty close to promotion, and Zhang has just got that little more extra tank, and it's a higher probability actually surviving uh, this mission out uh, without too much injury. We always take injuries on this, though. Uh, and depending on the engineer I take, I mean, Dark Initiative is just, I would love to have Dark Initiative along, but I think I need smoke grenades, and Excellent may be pro providing those exactly. Oh, God. So if we take a set of alien grenades for cover destruction, we take, see if I take an arc thrower, like, I don't think I really need to start thinking about arc throwing on this mission. It's just too big, too many nasty things. Let's not, actually. Let's go how I initially thought. Let's take Dark Initiative. I just want this mission to go well. We need the alloys more than the captives right now. Uh, right or wrong, that's what I'm deciding. And let's then take uh, Zoidberg, because we have Opportunist, we have Healy-type Medic. But then we don't have anyone with smoke. Never mind, not Zoidberg. Uh, we have enhanced medkit now, so the fewer medkits that we take are going to go much further. So I think we're going to take Ray, and just because Ray's been holding down the fort, this man earned some customizations. I got to say, last time I kept saying, kept taking him on missions, kept doing really well. Uh, he's going to have to get some customization options here. We got to give him some good, good duds. Uh, hair helmet. This is usually what does it for our medics. How do we do this for our medic that's always there? What with the tools and stuff. Uh, let's see. I'm I really partial to that beanie. I think this would be pretty awesome, honestly. Like, the whole, like, yeah, I'm there with whatever you need. I think that's pretty good. Calling the shots, Ray. Booyah. There you go. For being awesome, you got you some of that. Grats. All right, now we're going to kit you out. Definitely a set of med kits. 
Uh, and flashbang or chem would be more useful. Flashes are so valuable. So are chems. And I really don't want to under equip med kits on this mission because you tend to take attrition uh, in the long haul. And again, uh, we got to take our best rocketeer on this. So Cairo, Jose, Jose or Josie Tomas, you're ready to roll. All right, let's start kidding out, and we'll decide little bits here. The planning is honestly every what the hell? Some people have carapace on already, or what? Yeah, I guess some people do. <laughs> right, right, that's right. Anyway, everyone gets carapace here, uh, just because it's too dangerous not to. Laser sniper rifle for Yoko is going to be important. Um. Yeah, this is the first mission of the month. They could really be bringing, bringing some serious pain, so I gotta equip appropriately. A bipod for sure, and I mean a scope. If, and if I'm gonna be taking shots with a laser sniper rifle without being able to reposition cleanly, I need to make sure they hit, and 113 aim will go a long way for that. I think the laser pistol will be just fine on this. What happened to my heater? I think someone's already equipping the heater. That's probably the issue. Nova, what do you got? Scatter laser and heater, that's why. That makes sense. Flashbang and ceramic is probably good. God, I wish I had chitin plating, but eh. I lack, I lack the alloys. Carapace here. Scatter laser. Probably. Probably. Um, what kind of... One of more stru structures in a small location. Okay. Well, I think I know what map this is. It's the one with the burned out building next to it. So early on, these shotguns are not going to be as useful. Despite in the zone, I think I'm actually going to go take... Um, we should I take a strike rifle, maybe. Mm, that'll provide me a little bit extra punch. And the heater at close range? That might not be a bad idea. It's a weird build, but within the zone, this may be actually useful with the extra damage. So let's take... Um, oh, that's right. This, we have chameleon suits now. That'll give you more defense... And let's take the marksman scope, because not using a squad site would be silly. So this is our new chameleon suit. We'll see how it plays out on this mission. Vandal with the flashbang makes sense. She's going to be in the nasty parts in a little bit. Uh, the pistol is fine. I don't think I need anything else. I want to make sure she has some flexibility and range. Van Dorn is packing our backup med kit and pretty much everything I want him to pack. Zhang, last time I had the extra flashbang on Zhang, it really came in handy. That was not a bad thing. A scope will be good here along with a heavy laser and a carapace. That heavy laser did not equip, so let's put him there. And do I take extra ammo on this mission? He ha oh, he has proper lock and load. Never mind, he just got that last mission. What am I talking about? He's good. He's good to go. Dark initiative again, uh, standard loadout. I'm going to probably take off the shatter ray and put on a laser rifle. We're going to need a lot of pain to be able to take with these aliens. And the shatter ray is going to go on Cairo, mainly for positioning's sake. We're going to be flinging rockets downrange a lot. We're taking extra shredders. we got to make sure we can move with a carapace on board. Um, and again, we're going to be depending on steadying and firing the hold to make this work, but we should be just fine. And let's see. Ray, of course. Ever diligent. Carapace, laser rifle. And here's the thing. Flashbangs, definitely I want. Chems I also really want, actually. You know, I may actually do this. That's three med kits in total with field medic plus two. Chem grenade here. And these are all super powered med kits. They do six heal, thanks to our improved med kit foundry project. Uh, we have extra med kit here on Van Dorn. Do we have breaching ammo? Hold on. Do we have breaching ammo yet? Wait, we have 15 hours, so let's see. Let's see. Can we get breaching ammo before this runs? This Eight hours. Yeah, we can. We're okay, that's not a bad idea. More help down here. And we have improved med kit. Yeah, we do. Okay, I did this a while ago. That's good. Um, we're going to wait the eight hours for breaching ammo to be finished, I think. Contact detected. It's a high medium, unidentified. That means this is the super-powered medium. Just when I thought this month would come in slowly, uh, we, got, we got some real stuff to, to work with here. Oh, man. I don't know. Let's see if we can do damage. We're going to have to come up on defensive on this guy, I think. Because between the... Yeah, we should be okay with the countermeasures and everything, but this may go badly for us. This is pretty hard early on. We're going to try to knock the satellite down early. Let's see if we can knock this guy down. Try to go up on defense and see if we can do this safely. If not, we'll try to go up on offense and maybe... I don't know, get a couple pings in on him while we can. Ow! Already on the way in. Jesus! That hurt, dude. Oh, man. Are you serious? Seven days off of that. Crap. We took a lot of hits. 
Just in the way in, on the way in. And we have one day if Shady was up. Oh god, the air game hates me, honestly. The one time I deprived this kind of one extra interceptor is the day this thing really comes in. Jesus, this is rough. We have eyes on the bandit. He's still searching, but let's just hope we can keep dodging some more of these. This is ridiculous. We like to hit too, though. Nice, 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 nice. Okay, no damage was brilliant. We might be able to get this guy down. One hour refuel. Do we... Oh, we're hitting another one up in a day. This is up in an hour. Let's see if we can take it down. Bluto on balanced, I think, would be best here because of countermeasures. I don't want him to take too much damage. I want to make him make sure we're okay. He's already abandoning the mission. That was really what I wanted out of this. Balanced here, obviously, just for the uh, extra aim and extra likelihood to hit. But he's not going to be able to take down a UFO Bangs at this out. rate, and this is pretty good. I'm happy with that result. Now, it's starting pretty hard target. this mission. I mean, this month. Some big missions. Nice. Nice. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on, baby. Okay. Light damage. That's all right. Can we get another swing on this guy? Oh, we have just an hour. But why is breaching ammo not up yet? Engineering? One hour. Okay. Okay, we got to scan a little bit. Ah, there we go. Never mind. Carry on. Illyrium for engineers, done. Um, okay. Let's see. I'm rather running the risk of losing that. Okay, poacher is up. Let's get this some bitch down. We're gonna go up in defensive and see if we can get the last couple hits needed to get this guy down. We wanna go up in defensive, we wanna minimize how much more repair time we have on our um, interceptors. And we might swing one off of China just to support North America a little bit more now. Engaging hey, Bucko. You want to go down for me? Nearing strike range. Come on. I need these hits. I need these hits. Yeah! Yes! All right. Cash bounty, which is just what I needed. Oh, that is brilliant. That is good news indeed. So we still have that mission coming up. Five hours. Okay, beautiful. We can still send that out. We have breaching ammo now. Additionally, we have enough money to start building our facility Always of thermogeneration so let's here. do that immediately that is bloody brilliant okay bit of a rough start to the month our hangers in a little bit of disarray we should be okay in one hour to have a troop up here or one hour one day to have another trooper up there but we need to transfer another laser cannon out um stat i think uh yeah we need to defend our north american sphere a little more so let's transfer here it's going to be important, I think, to do that. Okay. All right. So, wow, what a start. I keep trying to send this mission out, and it has not happened yet just because there's so much other stuff to worry about. But this is great. Thermal generators coming up. It means we'll be able to get our labs in at the end of the month. we got to save enough money by the end of the month to get those in, but uh, that's good. That is good soup, my good friends. That is good soup. Anyway, breaching ammo. We have it. Let's send the mission out. Yeah, I think the chems are going to be important if we get mectoids or, God forbid, a sectopod, which is not crazy but unlikely still possible we have two flashbangs that should be enough we're going to depend on just more destruction here so vandal instead of the extra plating uh, which makes me think actually i'm going to take zergen yeah just because until i get um proper chitin plating or something ah god yeah i think i need to take zergen out he's going to have that one extra hit point that i'm missing so just take zergen uh, make the items available. Edit the unit. Load out with the carapace. The scatter laser. We need the high gap mags. Take the breaching ammo. And let's take the flash. And that should be fine. Okay. So now I think we're in a good place with all this. We have just 13 hit points on our assault, which is going to be important. Commanding officer. Our scopes all around. Our scopes where we need them, at least. Um, it's going to be a rough one. We have improved medkits. We have a lot of our new uh, new hot tech, so we're making good use of that. Good use of that. Let's see. I'm, I'm not entirely sold on the uh, chameleon suit, but it may come in handy. Who knows? And that'll be pretty a pretty good test for the chameleon suit this mission. We got a lot of explosives. The aliens won't know what hit them. Let's send this mission out. Um, so it's such a cool looking squad, though. Honestly, look at this. This is this not badass. This is badass. All right, rock and roll. Let's fly. 
Large landing. These are always scary. We are prepared. You don't need to tell me to be prepared. I am prepared. Get ready to deploy. Our AO is with Purple the Heart. United States. Oh God, really? On the alien landing site. Really? They put down in a remote area. Really? We should attempt to secure oh, that craft in a That better not be stops. prophetic. I don't want to be giving out Purple Hearts this mission. I mean, valor aside, I don't want to be having troops that badly injured. All right. HQ, this is okay. Okay, well, this is where I thought it was. This is the winter map. What with building around. Um, this one, like I said, you need to get to decent position quickly. There's not too much cover that's useful here. So we're going to have to make the most of what we've got. Um, part of that is going to be keeping an eye on what's what out here. Nova, we're going to need your scan stat. Because you can easily get flanked out of the side here. Going to the trees is an option. Assuming nothing catches you first, going through the building isn't a bad thing either. Uh, that's also an option. That music is freaking me out. It needs to stop. Copy that. Okay. Looks like we're clear up here. Let's send a scan. Is it just me or are those sound effects really loud this mission? Yo! Wow! Turn that down just a tick. My ears are bleeding. All right. Um, can we stop doing this and see what the hell's out here? What do we got? Okay. Kind of like the last UFO mission we had. We don't seem to have contact early. That's okay, uh, but not great. So part of what I want to do, I think, since we don't know what's out here, I don't want to rush to these trees yet. Though I may do so with our sniper, just to position her here. So she has good aim on pretty much everything. So let's take uh, our commanding officer here. Not Van Dorn. I said our commanding officer. Thank you. Our game defender's like, it's me, it's me, it's me. It's not you. It's not you. Uh, our medic can come back here just to cover our bases a little bit. And I just want to make sure there's nothing out here. And we look pretty clear in the back end here, so that's pretty good. Now I want to get my commanding officer in a position where she can actually uh, ready up and be able to hit anything on the map. And that's going to start here and probably continue up there, but let's just go yes, here for now. Sir. Good. Alright. And then let's start taking good cover positions. I want my Rocketeer steadied and ready to blow whatever comes out. So here is good. Let's get um, steadied weapons. There's a lot of half cover here, so I, I am a fan of advancing through the trees, which I probably will do just to be a little safer on this. We're going to yellow move everyone out here that we can to cover. Everyone else will stick here on Overwatch, like Zhang, what with the less than optimal movement. Let's not reveal anything at the last second here, which we shouldn't do. That's affirmative. All right, and that way we'll be able to take decent cover in the corner. We won't get flanked out too badly if need be. We can, this is a lot of tall cover, which we want to utilize to its the utmost, so. All right, well, we have a lot of creepy sound effects. Uh, we have a lot of troops on the ground, so let's see what's what. What are we actually facing here? Besides creepy music. Okay, maybe because it was the music talking, um, I couldn't hear a damn thing through that. Uh, that's getting a little irritating. I couldn't even tell what kind of aliens are on this map. So yeah, not a fan of that, but we'll do what we can, I guess. Ugh, all right, uh, Van Dorn, come up here. You're gonna need to be suppressing and tanking way. potentially. So, okay, nothing in the building. Okay, Yoko needs to get on the high ground. I guess <laughs> put in the absolute corner, but that's just a bad idea. Put her here, and she'll have pretty much vision on the entire map unless I'm behind that building. Maybe I'm still trying to find a good position for my sniper. Basically, is what I'm doing right now. Maybe just put her back here by this tree. She has the longest range, and this will give her uh, higher ground. All right, dark initiative with the grenades come up this way. I am a little worried about triggering vision in a bad time here. Uh, that music needs to turn itself down a bit. I, when I read, we start this mission. There's no way we're finishing it this run. By the way, uh, if you hadn't figured it out, we're probably not going to get through a three-hour mission in a one uh, about 40 minutes sitting. So <laughs> that ain't happening. Okay, nothing good. So far, so good on these missions. Honestly, when nothing comes up. All right, and let's get 
highlighter. Again, I don't want to trigger anything while Move everyone's kind of sitting out there with their pants down, so let's keep everyone bunched a little bit. Yoko's gonna steady. Van Dorn and everyone else is gonna overwatch. Ray, I think, can roll up here. Get ready. Let's overwatch and maybe hear what kind of alien gallows man this time. Sectoids. Okay. Remember, sectoids now can also mean sectoid commanders, and those are freaking scary. What with the whole freaky mind control thing and all. That's affirmative. I've got something. Got something. Here. What do we got? Oh Christ. Okay. So double mectoid pod, huh? That's gonna be fun. Ray. Ray. Buddy old pal old chum. Where are you, buddy? Might need you to implement some of those uh, smoke grenades you like so much, like yesterday. Oh, because we got double mectoid pod. Okay, uh, unfortunately I also have no shot on that damn drone. Zhang does, which is nice. Van Dorn. Van Dorn. Does. We need to get our rocketeer on this side of the world, so when those things come in, we can launch a beautiful shredder right at their face and continue following up with other nasty tech rockets. We have a shot here. Uh, that's not what we're going to be doing, though. We're going to be steadying our weapon. All right. So, how do we set this up? Zergen cannot walk into there because we'll be running right into Overwatch. McDowell can take half cover somewhere, but there's no real good half cover to take. Except for full. Ray is going to be defending back here with smoke, so we're going to put him a little out of harm's way right now. I'm on it, Commander. And uh, use him for his utility rather than anything else. Zergen, I think, may need to just hunker behind something, but again, not a lot of options here. And we have a pretty big crew. Dark Initiative is going to need to utilize those grenades, so I kind of want Dark Initiative somewhere near the front. Yeah, that's the one downside with this position, I just realized. It's just not a lot of cover, especially when we hit contact right there. So it doesn't look like I didn't see any commanders, which is nice. The downside is that's a lot of sectoids that can put that shield on those damn, um... Ah, oh, those damn mectoids. It's really unfortunate. Um, hmm. Now I'm worried about rushing out here because if something comes to our flank, we could be in deep shit. Let's take... We also have these positions down here, which I can't forget about. I'm not entirely certain how good that's going to be at tossing grenades, but it's better than nothing. And uh, I could always just lob stuff if need be. I may utilize this position for our scout, just because she has the strike rifle. And this isn't step out though, is it? I can't peek here. So that's not really good for what I want her to do. Alright, you know what? Roll up this yes, way. Sir. Double mech toys are no laughing matter. So does she actually have a shot? No, she doesn't have a shot there. That's what I was expecting. No step out. Um, Zergen, I want to be able to be at the front, but I need to make sure he's accessible there. So you stay there and just overwatch. Let's get Nova into position here. Aye, aye, Commander. All right. We're going to toss that smoke for sure and absorb some pain on the way in. Zhang, how good is that? That's 77. That's not great. I don't want to burn... Van Dorn's um, double tap yet. So let's get hollow or a kill here with McDowell. Hollow's fine. That is not good. That is not good. Oh, Yoko has no... That's right, Yoko had no vision on this damn thing. Okay. Uh, Zhang then. 87's pretty good. Unless... We roll ridiculously low, and the drone has two points of DR. Okay, that's something. Ray, you're going to toss that smoke out here, buddy. Not a lot of smoke to be had, honestly, if those things really dash up. But we have a full cover for now. So this is a start, um, given who's going to be targeted here for a second. Let's get that smoke cloud out at the very least, and then worry smoke. about the rest later. All right. Oh, this is just a little bit stressful right now. Let's set up Yoko on Overwatch. That drone might come in, and I might be able to get a nice, clean shot at it. Van Dorn, 80%. This will burn double tap, though. Let's just... I don't want to suppress, either. I don't want to burn double tap, because right now that's active, and I'm going to need that. 
god. Decisions, decisions. We could we could attack and then I think double no double tap can't you can't go on Overwatch after double tap. So I don't want this drone to run up and hollow up one of my units, and then those mech toids are gonna get a Alright, crabs, much as I don't want to do this, I'm gonna try to try to kill this fucker. Alright. Well. Target disabled. Maybe it didn't trigger. Maybe it's got smarter. Okay, you're gonna put your shield on? Yep, you are. Rockets can deal with that, so I'm less worried about that. I'm more worried about, yeah, the mechtoids. What do we got? What do we got? Nothing? I know those bastards are running in here. Oh, Jesus. Like, this is not what I wanted to see with mechtoids in play, and that is an army of sectoids that can all put that freaking shield on it. It's... Oh, and a 75% miss is not going to help me out right now. It's really not going to help me out right now. Overwatch, fine. He's the one with the shield from that little sectoid. And I can't see him right now, which is a bit frustrating. Okay. So, with that in mind... Now we got thin men coming, but that's all right. Step one is going to be to unload a shredder on all these dirt bags, and then we're going to be unloading bigger ordnance in a second. Let's focus on what's on this side first. I can't get rid of that guy who's got the. Um, should have a proper rocket at this point. I, mean, I do want to shred, but if I can get those sectoids in a big blast and prevent them from keeping the shield up, let's see. What does a normal rocket do for me? It's not going to do shit damage to the other... Yeah, you know what? I think my initial thought was right. Let's get just a shredder up. It's going to be more valuable in the long term taking care of these nasty-ass mechtoids. Uh, which is pretty much what my goal right now is. That's pretty good, and that's going to mitigate scatter. And it's going to get both those mechtoids, and might even get that sectoid on the corner. So that, I'm fine with that. Let's shred... We get Shredder on those two mechtoids, and that's the biggest concern right now. Vamos, 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 vamos! Okay, yep. That's still pretty good damage, even to the shielded one. That's not bad. Which The shielded one we cannot see, which is the scary part right now. Okay, now we can start double tapping. Except we can't see... Are you we serious? Oh, except that freaking tall building. What do you have visions on? We have a flank on something. That poor guy. All right. I thought I'd have vision on these mechtoids, but they're using that cover of that building very well. Yeah, I don't have vision on any of these mechtoids. Are you serious right now? Holy crap, that's scary. Uh, Zhang Qilong, what do you see? Well, Zhang has vision on that guy, and that's going to help a lot. Dark Initiative. Yeah, not into grenade range yet, but if it moves closer, it's going to be. All right. Uh, well, not so good on the options here. I thought I'd have more... Uh, fire on target for those mechtoids, but I clearly do not. We got a flank here. Let's take the easy flank kill. Any less sectoids that can put up less of those damn shields is going to be a bonus. Okay. Good enough. In the zone. That's right. Can we get... Can we make it too, Sunshine? Can we make it too? Almost. Oh, in the zone already paying off with the uh, marksman rifles. I'm pretty happy about that. Um, probably should have reloaded, possibly, but not my biggest concern right now. All right, Zhang, let's just keep unloading ammo on this thing. Uh, yeah, my, my concern is that, yeah, we've got a lot of freaking... <sighs> All right. Make this count, buddy. That's not really counting. You should be shredded. You should have been shredded. That's a better damage, but that thing is still not down. Remember, we got two of these bastards. Uh, it's just not filling me to the brim with confidence. We get some bad panics off of these damn sectoids, we're going to be in trouble. Oh, God. I need to save some ammunition for those guys, but if these sectoids stay up, we could be in a little bit of trouble. Yoko. Yeah, Yoko does not have in the zone, so that's unfortunate. 
That is 79% chance. I might as well swing that. Let's go. Yep, that's one more sectoid down. Yeah, the, the concerns are twofold here, right? The concerns are the shields, and the concerns are additionally um, the uh, psychic stuff they can do. So both of those things together make this really scary. Uh, but with enough smoke grenades, we should keep everyone in one piece. And those mech toys may be playing a little more defensively now. Yeah, Ray, how good is your chem arm? It's not great. What do we got? What do we got? We have Van Doren taking a shot, or we can take an overwatch. But, you know, one of these sectoids can move and take my overwatch, and that'll be game over. So why don't we just take a shot here? We can double tap if need be. Missed it. Well, we've got hollow up now, buddy, so shot can you do this a little wide. better? There we go. Yeah, it's funny. I'm concentrating so much on these sectoids, but right now, uh, that's pretty much the only thing I can do safely. Overwatch and see what happens next. Ray, I need that other smoke right now, and I'm glad I brought smoke. Really glad I brought smoke. Uh, you may want to actually move toward where that smoke is going to be. But I can't do that. So I'm just going to hope no one sees him. How far can we talk? We can't even toss it very far, honestly. So this is going to be the best we're going to be able to do. Let's cover that smoke here. Uh, Alright, that works for me. Boy, I think we're just going to hunker with Ray after this. Because uh, this should be a free move, thanks to his uh, perk. Yeah, it's a free move. We could overwatch or hunker. I'm going to hunker to be safer. And this is this is the turn where it could all go to hell, or we could make it out okay. At least the sectoids are partially mind-merging each other, given how much attrition they've been taking from our troops here. He's going to mind-merge the... Nope. Is that a mechtoid or a sectoid? Hopefully a sectoid. Okay, what do we got? What's next? What is the next move, aliens? What's the next move? They run in closer. I have grenades. And that's, I think, in a grenade range of Dark Initiative. That's going to make this a little easier. No panic. Help. That sucks! No, damn it. Oh, that's why I need no. neural damping on my freaking officers. Uh, Zhang's cover is reducing considerably. Zhang's cover is reducing considerably right now. And he's going to be able to take a freaking almost point blank shot. Decent damage, but we need more. Oh, God. This is now officially scary. Holy crap, that's close. Holy crap, that's close. John! Damn, that's an 11 crit! Oh! I am still standing. Yeah, not by much, bucko. Jeez! That was a big hit! A big hit, but Zhang is still standing like a freaking boss! Still standing, but barely. Damn, and Yoko is panicking. That's what I was freaking afraid of. It's psychic like bullshit. Alright. Okay, how do we do this? We need another rocket. That's kind of a given. We're gonna need Dark Initiative to toss an alien grenade out here. Clear up some of the sectoid cover, and do some good damage to these ugly things. That's gonna be necessity. The question is, do we chem now or chem later? Zhang is going to have to pull way the hell back, pretty much all the way here, if he wants to stay alive. Uh, he cannot be out there anymore. Um, let's get a rocket going, too. I mean, this is going to be important. We have 1.7 scatter. The, the other issue is, like, I still have another freaking mechtoid up there. Another mechtoid. that can do equally as much damage. It was bad luck that Zhang's cover went all the way down with that. Usually the tree goes to half and gives me corner cover, so that was kind of bad luck. If this scatters, it kills Zhang, though. So let's just do job one first, and that is getting... Getting Zhang moving. Um, alternatively, though, if I don't have vision on that anymore, it's going to be a problem. How far is your chem? Uh, your chem is going to encompass that guy, so that will be good. Do we have... Uh, you don't have ammunition. Oh, Jesus, that's right. You don't have ammunition. Have a heater, though. But you don't have eyes on... You don't have eyes on this guy, anyway. So I don't think I had eyes regardless on this mechtoid. This, this, these walls, rather than being a boon, are becoming a problem. Yeah. Okay. Ah, uh, so how do I make this work now? Corner cover I can take here, but that's just asking it flanked by the mechtoid. Mmm. Yikes. Van Dorn, you're gonna have to really unload. Van Dorn has easy shots on this, so his heat ammunition combined with a chem may actually do this for us. So yeah, you know what? Zhang, first and foremost, get your ass back here. 
and stay alive. That's job one, Mako. Just get over that hill and stay away. Now, chem for sure. Because if I can chem and then use Van Dorn and um, Dark Initiative to get this thing down, we could potentially save the rocket for the other one and all the annoying sectoids that it's, that it's protecting. So why don't we toss a chem here? If we're lucky, another one will move into that position. Ready? Just keep tossing those support grenades, buddy. We're starting to run out of smoke, and we're going to need as much as we can get. Okay, acid. No more DR. We used double tap already, unfortunately, last turn to get that sectoid down. But yeah, that could have been one more psychic thing, so I don't regret doing that at all, actually. And the much I want to destroy this cover, job one is damaging the mechtoid. So I'm going to do that right now with the alien grenade. That's going to do good work, I think. Eat this. Nice. 13. Thank you. Thank you, Heat Warheads. Plus, uh, plus some good, good sapper damage. Holy hell, that's really nice. Okay. Zergen. Zergen, Zergen, Zergen. I can't put him here or he's dead and he's flanked from seven directions at once. I could run and gun here and do work there, but that's asking to get flanked. I could come to corner cover. That's asking to get flanked. Yeah, these... Hmm... Not a lot of good options here. Nova still only has... Not good vision. She only has that. I, I want to use her heater on that thing. I may put Nova out here with a heater for now. And that's... I mean, that's basically a ballistic assault rifle. That's not too bad. I do want her to reload, but... What I could do... I could fire with Van Dorn... And if I get the killing blow with Nova, that gives her in the zone with a primary weapon, though, right? It can't be her secondary. Oh, God. Decisions here. Um, all right, Van Dorn, you're not moving. You're going to be firing for sure. Please get me a good hit here. I need you to do a lot of good work. Whoo, boy. Who doggy. Double. You do have double tap. Oh, you beautiful bastard, you. Van Dorn. Some days, I love you, buddy. Holy hell, that's going to be a saving grace. Because if we can get this down... Okay, let me rephrase that. When we get this down, one. Okay. One mechtoid no down. That's threat. huge. That is huge. That one's probably not going to run fast. into here either. Um, which is excellent. It means we can probably reload safely with Nova. As I don't really care about the heater so much now. Because uh, that one's down already. We'll get another rocket on target, I think. We're going to keep, keep the rockets flowing hot and heavy here. There's no reason not to. Uh, shot is blocked. I don't really care that the shot is blocked so much as... There we go. A little higher will help. I want to make sure I can contact this guy. How good is our scatter? Two tiles. This may not actually hit him on point. Uh, yeah, without steadying and without a scope, the higher in the hole only does so much. But I think I need to unload a rocket here and just hope we have some good contact. Let's uh, let's make a good connection here. Lanzando. It is a real rocket too, so let's hope it goes on target. Oh yeah, it's on target. Always dependable. That guy is almost down. So, can we actually do this with a heater? Did we kill that sectoid or did he just freaking disappear on me like that dumbass glitch that happens. Alright, because I think, I think I can actually get range on that thing via Nova. And having the thing alive is far more, I mean, having that thing dead is far more important than um, anything else right now. I'm a little worried about the Thin Men, but that's step, step like seven of all the crap I need to be worried about. Ah, oh, if only Yoko, Jesus, if only you didn't freaking panic, that would be a dead... Mechtoid. Okay, so do we load up and get ready for another round? Because if he gets close to someone else, you saw that movement, we are dead, really. Is there a way to maneuver Zergen into position? I think there's still a sectoid there. Where was he? No, oh, we might have gotten him. Not entirely certain. Do we... Oh, God, I wish I could check the tape on this, but... <laughs> Not gonna do that. Um, God, this is scary. 
I want to commit Zergen up and do this run and gun, but the issue is, uh, as you can see, I'd be running through my own acid, and that's bad. That's very, very bad. <sighs> okay, how much more damage can we freaking tank from a mechtoid? The answer is not a lot. This is a tough decision. Um, I'm not happy with it. No matter how I play this, I don't think I'm in a good way. Van Dorn has vision on him, so that's easily targetable. I don't have vision from here. You have clean vision on that guy. Okay, so obviously the range I need to get into is somewhere around here. This may not be close enough. Let me come out here with Nova. And if I can shoot it, I'm going to try for a heater shot. If I can't, I'm going to reload. I think this is going to be out of my range. Oh, gosh. One more ammunition. Ammo conservation, folks. It's a good freaking thing to have. Or do I put her here and just try and take this out? If I put her here and the aim is not good, I'm not going to have enough power to take this down, and I put myself in a really bad position. God, these decisions, man. These decisions, none of them good. I think I need to risk pushing Highlighter forward and taking a shot with that heater. That could not roll enough, though. Heaters aren't that strong. That thing still has its DR. If I roll, like, a 3 and do 1 damage to it... Oh, God. It is shredded, though. How do I do this? I don't want to absorb another shot from these bastards, but I don't think I have a choice. I'm going to swing Nova out here uh, for a better concave. I think I'm just going to reload. I have to I have to do it this way. And now you have squad sight. Um, Zergen, in case that thing runs up, I'm going to put him on Overwatch. But that's the best I can do right now. I was hoping for no nasty panics. One of these guys down. He's almost down. That rocket was doing such good work. What's he going to do? Ah, uh, it's the shield from another freaking sectoid. Oh, I should have killed it. Should have killed it! Oh, I really didn't need to see that right now. Okay. Well, this has gone to hell in a hurry. Okay, tree covers at half, which is what we expected. I'm gonna panic my Rocketeer. Failed. Good. Oh, that much is good. Oh, Jesus, you're gonna be kidding me. A disc. Disc in front of all this. I still have a disc to worry about. Okay. 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 We're not okay right now, actually. We're, we're the opposite of okay right now. Um, but we're not dead. That much is... And Yoko still panicked? Are you kidding me? A two-turn panic? That is not acceptable. Right, I need another rocket. I need to unload and kill this thing. Because we still have the disc to worry about. Holy hell. Um, yeah, we need this not to scatter. We need this to kill that sectoid. This is just some really bad luck with the patrols all of a sudden. Like, where the hell that thing came from? Despite the other half of that pack being somewhere else. I think that's a teleportation glitch, but... All right, you know what? I'm not going to complain that much. I need this rocket to connect right now. Okay, that got rid of the shield. That was the important thing. And now we got to connect and kill. We can get in the zone with Nova, I think. Yeah, we can get in the zone. So let's get that kill shot. Ah, Van Dorn, what do you what do you have eyes on, Van Dorn? Yeah, that distance coming around, it might be able to flank us. We might have to pull even further back here to this, like, corner of maybe Please Don't Kill Me-ville. I'm not even sure if that's a name of a place, but it feels like it right now. All right. You're almost out of your support items, um, but let's get the In the Zone proc off of this. I need 99% not to miss. This, this can't be an XCOM moment right now. Okay. Two mechtoids down. That much is good. The downside? We now have that damn thing. This is pretty good, actually. We can take... This, I don't know if it has covering fire. It may. Um, can we flash it? We can flash it. 
that may be something to save us. I'm really pissed at Yoko. The officer needs to have head on her shoulders at all times, and Yoko right now is not fulfilling that part of the bargain. Dark Initiative needs to come out here. We're going to need to be able to use a grenade on that damn thing. Ray is not in vision, so technically we can bring him out here and use him to heal Zhang, but uh, it's not enough time. Okay. Well, either way, I have in the zone. Let me see if I can't uh, ice that little sectoid for us all. That'll make it a lot easier, less panics to worry about. Oh, that looked almost good from my angle. That almost looked good. Alright. Van Dorn, the problem is, like, he... If I... So I don't know if I'd be running Overwatch on that disc. Let me do that, actually. Let me flashbang the disc. That'll stop the Overwatch. It doesn't have covering fire. We learned. Oh. Nah. <laughs> Discs and... <laughs> I should have freaking known that. Well, there's a player if you ever saw one. Um, problem with Van Dorn is that I want him over here behind this tree to avoid flanks from the disc. I'm afraid I might get hit with an Overwatch if I do I'm that. It, but I need to do that. Okay, that was dangerous as hell. Weapons. Okay, Zhang, 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 Zhang. I need you to come here. I need to get Ray out of there because he's not going to be in a good way if this connects. I also need to heal Zhang, and that is going to be problematic. I can't leave him here or he's going to be meat for the disc. <sighs> okay, think, 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 think. How do you do this? How do you do this? That freaking panic, man. I, I swear I'm really, really angry at that. I swear I'm angry. You know I'm angry when I keep talking about it. Um, Dark Initiative, then. Look at Ray's movement again. Just to the edge of this. Like, just, you can't even step one tile over. He goes into yellow move, and I can't use a med kit. Potentially, he could be out here and safe enough from the disc. I'll be out of range. This is risky, but I need to get Zhang in the front line. I don't want to be doing this, but I need to be doing this. All right, Zhang, come here. Ray. Oh, God. I'm asking you a lot, man. This is this is why you gave you got your hat and your, uh, Roger that, and your call out. We need you to start ministering to our injured folks here. That's gonna be six. That's gonna be such a big deal with that enhanced med kit. The next turn, I can finish healing Zhang, put him back in the front line. I need his power right now. So I don't have enough juice. Um, Zhang, I need you to. Should I Overwatch with him, or should I reload? Let's reload. Uh, Dark Initiative is gonna roll out here. Should not be flanked by the disc. And we're going to be able to leverage our grenades this way. I can't toss anything up here, but we'll be alright. Overwatch. And let's see. Okay, you're starting to go back, but that disc is still a problem. It's still a very big problem. What are you doing? Oh, you're getting mind merge. Of course you're getting mind merge, you asshole. Yoko, I need you to come out of that panic soon. Girl, I really do. There's the drones I didn't need to see. Who may now give us hollow targeting? Oh, that was a double move, thankfully. Grenade, not good. Okay, a lot of damage on my racketeer, which I'm not happy about. Okay, wow. Okay, fine. That car is gonna explode, though. We got to get out of there. We've got to get out of there. Okay, we survived. Folks, I'm going to call that a mission there for now. That's been, that's been enough hair-raising insanity for one turn. I'm going to hit you back on the flip side when we see what we can do about this disc now that Yoko is finally back to not freaking herself out but still has no vision on the most dangerous thing on the map right now. So I will call it there. Thank you so much for tuning into this hair-raising episode of XCOM. I will see you next time. Till then.